Hey guys, how you doing? So something I've been talking about for years now, when it comes to freelancing, whether you are a solo freelancer or you have an agency, the key to profitability is in workflows. Having a nice streamlined workflows will lead to profitability. If you have to do everything bespoke, everything from scratch, or you're always feeling your way through projects, it's hard to be profitable in that situation. So these workflows are defined by the tool sets that you use, how you organize the workflow from start to project to uh, communication with clients, front end implementation, back end if you're doing full stack, etc. How you manage small projects where you got small budgets, small budget projects can be profitable if you got good workflows in place where you can get the work done much more quickly. If you have to always do from scratch, you have to do everything uh, custom all the time, it's hard to take on those small projects, those small contracts. You don't have the margins to, to do all the customized work. So having those workflows in place can transform the profitability of a business. So that all being said, Wix Studio is a new product, which is a series of services and tools, and it's designed to create an efficient workflow for freelancers and agencies. People who know me know I do not take on very many sponsorship deals. I refuse the vast majority of them because I want to bring to your attention only products and services that I feel are worthy of your attention. So I looked at Wix Studio. It's pretty cool. It's something that's worth looking at. So in this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview, and it is a sponsored video, but I'm going to give you a quick overview. Don't worry, I'm not going to put you to sleep with details. So Wix Studio is a brand new product from Wix, and it's designed for professional developers, not designed for end users. They're looking at freelancers, they're looking at agencies, and in fact, what they did is they worked with a bunch of freelancers and agencies, listening to them, and they put together uh, this series of products and services according to the feedback that they got. So it's pretty refined. I can tell you from having done a lot of freelance work over the years. So in a nutshell, the Wix Studio is uh, a series of tools and it provides a 360 holistic end-to-end -end suite of tools to optimize your workflow. So you got, for example, tools for RAD production. That includes uh, templates, a very powerful, responsive drag and drop editor. So you can create your layouts very quickly. It's pretty intuitive. I was looking at a bunch of the, of the demos. I'll link to all this stuff below. And in the demos, you see how the tools allow you to create responsive sites really quickly and to fine tune them in a very efficient manner. So you combine that with uh, the templates. We have a big collection, growing collection of templates. There are tools that allow you to drag and drop and design and lay out very nicely. And they have a really cool AI where you can select a, a view, a layout, and then the AI will adjust the elements in your page, your images, your text, et cetera, and positioning. So it looks really good. So this is great for the design challenge. So maybe you're a coder who's good at putting together, writing code and putting together systems, but you're not good at design. This AI tool combined with the templates I think will be pretty good. So these RAD tools, RAD is app, rapid application uh, development. The RAD tools that they provide, the templates, AI, et cetera, et cetera. This is great for small projects with tight budgets. So you may have a client that has a tiny budget, I don't know, 500 bucks, 1,000 bucks. With these tools, it allows you to go bing, 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 and other tools and put out the project in record time so you can, they make sense for you all of a sudden. Whereas if you have to build from scratch and have to figure out, I got, well, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use that, what am I gonna do here? It doesn't become so uh, profitable, right? So in addition to all the RAD tools, the app rapid application development tools, uh, they also give you full control where they have direct to code Tools. So they have a very powerful, they have a powerful code editor that's AI assisted. So you can go in there and mess around with all the code you want. You're not stuck or bound by uh, the limitations of their edit, their uh, uh, their drag and drop tools. They also have a pretty robust API creation tool. So they have a bunch of APIs and a bunch of libraries that you can access, uh, which is cool. But they also they made them flexible, so you can take one of their APIs for, for example, their e-commerce implementation, 
and you can adjust it. You have a lot of flexibility there, whether in code or whatnot. So you can both deliver on small little projects that require highly efficient workflows, or you could also deliver on very complex projects where you drop down into the code and you can access uh, a growing collection of APIs and you can modify them, develop your own. So you have the best of both worlds. One of the questions I get all the time from uh, people getting into freelance is how can they generate recurring revenue with their client base? The most obvious option is to get involved with hosting. Now, I advise people, don't get into the hosting business unless you want to become a hosting business because it's, it's a lot, it could be a lot of work. But with uh, Wix, they have partnerships where you can develop uh, your websites and your web apps for clients on their platform and deploy to their platform and you can partner with them so you can get a share of that downstream revenue. And it's not only just with the hosting, they have a bunch of turnkey um, APIs and tools like e-commerce, et cetera. And there's a cost to all these things, which is cool. And you know, so instead of having to build these things from scratch, you pay a little bit more for the license and you can share in those licenses as well. So it's um, the partnership opportunities with Wix, where you become a partner developer with them, allows you to uh, tap into that reoccurring revenue. So if you have a growing stable of clients, this could become interesting for you in terms of your bottom line. So besides all the tools used for coding and development, they have other tools in the workflow designed specifically for freelancers. So for example, there are tools where you can create multiple users on a project give them different roles. So for example, you can create a user for your client so they can come in, check out the work you've done, add comments, things that they might want to see change, et cetera, et cetera, so on. So you don't have to set all this up. It's all built into the platform for you. Besides that, as I mentioned before, there's easy de deployment on the Wix infrastructure and actually provide enterprise scaling. So if that comes into play later on with the project where you're worried about scale and so forth, the platform has you covered. The final thing that you should consider with any platform is uh, support. How's the support? Well, that's another great thing about this. You got great support. They have lots of educational materials they're adding to on a regular basis. You can contact somebody. You can reach somebody. There is a growing community. You'll be sure about that. So this is cool. You don't want to be stuck with a technology where there's no support, right? One of the main reasons huge corporations will deal with other big corporations, well, the main reason is they want that support. So with Wix... They offer that level of security and that support. So you, you do have a partner in your freelance business, or if you're an agency, you do have a partner with them. So you got a, a set of tools and workflows that are optimized based on the feedback and research the Wix people have done for you. You have that support as well to go along with it. So you, it's kind of cool. <laughs>